Hello, welcome again to a new math problem. Today we have a nice equation involving powers of x. If x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0, then find the value of this expression, which is an addition of five large powers of x. Note that they are consecutive powers as well. As always, I'd love for you to take up this challenge and try to solve it yourself. Pause the video right here and go for it. Okay, so let's go into the solution. Remember, these types of problems always have a way to go about them, and that clever approach is what makes these so fun and intriguing. Let's start with our expression and see how we can simplify this addition. This part is quite straightforward. First, let's take out the common factor, which is x to the power 2020, and write the rest within brackets. Now this part, which is x squared plus x plus 1, is given to us as data, that its value is 0, hence we can plug that right here. Then, this remaining part which has x to the power 4 and x to the power 3 also can be factorized. Let's take out x to the power 3 from it. We get x plus 1 inside brackets. Now, let's take a moment to look at the data given to us. We know that x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Rearranging the terms, we can get that x plus 1 is equal to minus x squared. Let's plug that result in our expression in place of x plus 1. And now, the expression becomes minus x to the power 2025, an interesting result which wasn't hard to arrive at. However, it's possible to find a number that equals this term, which is the real intuitive part. Now let's see how that's done. For a moment, let's consider another well-known expression. x to the power 3 minus 1. You can expand this expression into its factors. x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. Okay, now this becomes interesting. When you consider this x squared plus x plus 1 term, we know that its value is given to us as 0. Hence, we can plug 0 right there, and the whole right-hand side becomes 0. Nice. We're left with the expression that x to the power 3, or x cubed, minus 1 is 0. Therefore, we find out that x cubed is equal to 1. However, how do we use this result in our original expression? It has minus x to the power 2025, right? Let's do something about it. 2025 is same as 3 times 675, and this product can be written as the power of a power like this minus x cubed, and then whole thing to the power 675. Now we've already found out that x cubed is equal to 1. Plug that right in. 1 raised to any power would remain 1. So we have arrived at our answer. The expression's value is minus 1. Hope you liked my approach to solving this problem. Comment below if you think of any other better approaches. Please like this video and drop me a subscribe. See you soon with my next video then, have a great day.